to check in here. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, mocking up the first corner. I wanted that to be um, uh, really square and just uh, start off, you know, on good foot. Uh, I did do the uh, 6011, the E6011. Uh, it's an older rod. Hopefully, it hasn't soaked up too much moisture. Um, it did have a little bit of trouble sticking, but um, it seemed to work. Uh, didn't get much penetration, obviously, so I should have done a pad of beads to uh, kind of practice on this rod and see what else I need to do. Uh, so I've already done the welds and then flipped it over. Um, so it started started this way, um, and I had this short leg sitting on that. Uh, 16 inch piece so it was nice to have that extra 16 inch piece to get the height and then um, I had to do a lot of shimming because this this driveway here is kind of sloped in many different angles um, and it's got this crack in it so it's a little bit off you know here and there and uh, I couldn't visibly detect any um, uh, twist twisting or, or sagging in the beam but um, who knows that might be there too the cuts look pretty square so uh, more shout outs to uh, Steve at Clark Welding for uh, taking care of that. Actually, he had his most senior guy, I think, uh, do the cuts. They turned out great, I think. Um, so anyway, take it from here. Uh, ground off the welds um, that, that, were, that were here. And then I flipped it over. Used the other 16-inch piece here. Um, and then now I'm starting to shim it up. So... What we have on this top surface here, this is kind of following the Eastwood guide, is that the um, um, there was no weld penetration on the tack that's underneath this this level down here. Um, no weld penetration here, and no weld penetration here because I'm just tacking. Um, I'm going to need to like bang it into shape um, after the tacks are all put in. So what we have here is a surface that has. Um, that should be even more level. So we're kind of building off that Eastwood tutorial again. And we're gonna use this to make a mirror image. We're gonna take that other, um, uh, the other long piece right here, lay it on top of here, and then take the, uh, um, this last vertical standing piece here of the uh, I -B or H beam and stick it on top of here. And should take minimal shimming to get that up. Uh, I'm going to tack this again, um, and so this right here is actually going to be my top side, and I'm going to, um, I should be able to, I think if I'm following this right, I should be able to have both top sides touching each other here, and then, let's see, I'll have to flip it around, well, let, me, let me think about that for a minute. Okay, too many beers. Too many beer, beers? I don't know. Uh, I shouldn't have flipped it. I'm gonna flip it back over. Um, Cause if I make, if I make it upside down again on this piece, um, I'm not gonna be able to flip it in the right direction. So uh, I did grind down the weld on the, on the other side of this. So um, there should be nothing protruding and I'll get this all level again like it was. Should just be able to flip it. Build, it, build the next one on top of here again. And then, um, uh, face down and then we'll be able to uh, flip it around and then uh, square up the pieces and then once the uh, I'll start to get measuring the diagonals making sure that's all good and um, tack it up and then I'll have one big uh, kind of big ladder looking piece square or would would be rectangle if these pieces were all the way out to the ends uh, and then I'll start spacing the ones on the inside tacking those in um, again, uh, continuously checking for square and level, uh, making sure that the build surface is going to be something I can reference.